There's a basket for Smaragda in the warehouse. She's waiting. What does it mean to be truly righteous? To never succumb to temptation, or to take a vow of chastity despite constant temptation? Our heroine did not know the answer to this question, and preferred never to dwell on it. If it were up to her, she would have chosen the quiet life of a nun. However, destiny had something different in store for her. Sorry, maybe I can help. You're the last person I need right now. Get lost. Sorry. Look, it works. You know, you're not stupid at all. Why are you loitering here? <laughs> Did you get thrown out of the evening service again? For the sake of the prayers of all the... Stesha, do you have something prepared for Smaragda? It's cold today, isn't it? Oh, potato! Thank you. Thank you. The sisters laughed, Indica. Christian love is known to be patient, merciful, and faithful. However, in a lowly human sense, they didn't love her that much. To be completely honest, they didn't love her at all. Many of them felt nothing but disgust for her. 
Indica, however, was not to blame. Were it not for the voice that was inculcating ideas in her, unforgivable for a Christian, she would have been a virtuous and rather mediocre nun. Indica's biggest dream was for that voice to leave her alone once and for all. Her entire life became a struggle, a painful resistance. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much she tortured herself, the voice grew louder and more convincing every day. Sisters, today I was walking, Lord forgive me, through the refectory, and I saw the servant of God holding a high passion her and her apples. So I went to the job quickly made the sign of the cross, and I did. some water.
Useless labor is the basis of spiritual development. Obedience is above fasting or pregnancy. Indica didn't understand why she needed to retrieve the water from the well if there was a pump next door that took it from a sacred spring. She didn't understand why drinking from the spring was allowed, but cooking soup was a sin. The well was only about 15 meters away from the spring. It was not possible to have any other water there. Even a tenth of it is the same. They say, on Epiphany, even a drop of holy water blesses an entire canister. If that were true, a couple of evaporated drops from the spring would bless the puddles beneath her feet. We haven't eaten even ten of them. With God's help, we'll make it to spring. No way. Sisters won't eat after her. Mother, the sign of the cross saved from the plague. But this... Glory to... Smaragda, don't tempt me. I'm sending Evdakia to you. Don't let this one into the refectory. As an outlaw shall I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May my communion of thy immaculate mysteries, O Lord, not be judged or condemned, but heal the body and soul. It is forbidden to leave the convent without a blessing. Despite her requests, Indica had not been blessed to leave for a full year. When she was tasked with delivering the letter, it took her completely by surprise. Even though she did not know the contents of that letter, she could not shake the feeling that it would play an extremely important, perhaps critical, role in her life.
the sake of the prayers of all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Tisha, I need to go to the other side. Georgie, pirate, be quiet. The animals feel the unholiness. They're just happy to see me. Tisha, I'm sorry. The animals feel the unholiness. I brought you some apples. Or lovka, your favorite. Tisha, I must hurry to the train. are all wet. They'll slip and fall again. Don't worry, Tikhon. I understand. Forgive me, for Christ's sake. Tikhon has the key. Oh, what an imbecile. Indica loved Tikhon. Imbecile was a medical diagnosis, so she was just using the word literally. In any case, Tikhon couldn't hear her. Hypocrisy isn't really a virtue, is it?
was as if the convent didn't want to die. There was no place closer to God. She yearned to be dead. He said Not true! I think deep inside... I found this mercy and compassion I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the public and the prodigal and the harlot. Forgotten thy glory, O Father, and among sinners I have scattered the riches which thou gavest me, O ineffable and unsuitable. The way to use that skill, just like her personal hygiene, always at lunch, she would carefully clean the devil's work from her dentures with her finger. Indica hated and loved. I fell among thieves and was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins, and my soul is wounded. To whom shall I flee for healing, if not to thee, the compassionate Samaritan? Pour on me, O Christ, thy great mercy. As of old, thou dost raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy godlike care and might, raise up my soul, which is palsied by diverse sins and transgressions, and by unseemly deeds and acts, that saved I may cry out, Glory to thy power, O compassionate Christ. My soul is wasted with having a meal, repenting what she had thought. As a disciple of the Lord, O just one, thou hast received the gospel as a martyr. Thou art never... Signing the cross, fasting, apologizing, pretending to be interested in the lives of the saints, apologizing, repenting. Praise the Lord, deep wisdom, hast had compassion on our souls, so in these latter days hast thou made us anew by thy bloodshedding. Now I have come unto thee, my Lord and God, a sinful and burdened one, not having the boldness to look up into the heights of heaven because of the multitude of my transgressions. O ineffable and unseen grace, for who can tell of thy mighty works? O Christ, or who can number the multitude of thy wonders? Like the man who fell among thieves and was wounded, so... Use that skill. Just like her personal hygiene, always at lunch, she would carefully clean the devil's work from her dentures with her finger. Indica hated endless prayers that were repeated. I found this mercy and compassion I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the publican, the prodigal, and the harlot. As of old thou didst raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy godlike care and might, raise up my soul, which is fear of God, signing the cross over her mouth after every yawn, before entering the temple, after crying, after leaving the temple, after entering the refectory, praying before entering her cell, before going to sleep, before having a meal. As a disciple of the Lord, O just one, thou hast received the gospel as a martyr, thou art never turned away as the brother of God, thou hast boldness as a hierarch, thou canst intercede, do thou intercede with Christ God that he may save our souls. And now I cry to thee as the...